busy lineups. This Leo, feeling ko dapat hindi mo na nag-ani. Nag-pick uh, dito ang team Chooks agad. Ng Johnson, Johnson nila. Kasi sure naman na sa kanila yun, di ba? Feeling ko dapat sinecure muna nila yung mga gusto nilang heroes for themselves. So, um, I, may, medyo nasayangan lang ako doon. But yeah, we talked about Minsithar a while ago. Minsithar, since all mid naman tayo, very specific lang yung area yeah. na pwede mong hanapin. Kung saan mm -hmm. ka pwede magkulong ng specific target. So, I like yeah. that. I like that uh, first secure by Team Doggy. Mm, King's Calling, no? Perfect. Oh, as well, Last Insanity. Again, kay Saya, Mobile Legends! Hindi lang dahil sa meta natin sa professional league, ha? Just really the way the roster of heroes are, feeling ko mga 40% fighter, eh. Di ba? 40% na malalakas ng hero fighter. And don't, not to mention, Hilda is a fighter. Eh, meta rin yan. So, ito na, napili na nga ni na Dogs yung una nilang hero na hindi fighter. Franco. Hmm. Oh, madali lang din mag -hook. since all mid tayo kahit manghula ka lang ng hook dyan walang problema like you know if you, if you um, kumbaga mas limited na yung space mas advantage yun para sa hahanapan ni Franco ng lugar yes. kung saan siya kukuha ng paghuhukan actually pwede nga rin naman kasi siya sa jungle magtago so that's fine I guess okay lang din yeah I guess um, sa bush no sa, sa side bushes natin sa mid yep Never yep bad, yeah. Okay, ito interesting, no? Since si Chokes ang naglalaro dito sa side ng, uh, well, team niya to, Chokes TV, uh, I'm not sure kung siya nga rin ang gagamit talaga nitong Farsa. We can expect maybe Farsa Carry, Marksman Farsa, Farsa Tank, di ba? So, <laughs> knowing how creative Chokes is, hindi ganun ka imposible na unahin niya tong Farsa, tapos iwan niya na lang Odette for last pick possibly. At, ito na nga, kinuha na nila si Barats. Ay, also a fighter, I think. Or no, tap Leo, ah, Leo nakakatap hmm. tong burst damage na pwedeng iba to ng Team Chooks kasi Farsa yes. at Odette. That's a lot of ano, area uh, area damage na pwedeng yep. saluhin dito ng fighter na nasa side ng uh, Team Doggy kung saan early game time, syempre, usually hindi ka naman magbibuild pa ng uh, magic defense item. Un unless yun talaga yung gagawin na nila early on. No? Like, sasacrifice nila yung damage uh, mm -hmm. para makakuha agad ng magic defense. Kasi for sure, may hirapan sila dito if they will have two burst mage damage coming from the Farsa and Odette. Yep, yep, sobrang linis nung kailangan gawin dito ng Team Chokes. But we're going into the second phase of banning now and ayun na naman si na Dogs. I, I really am finding it hard to comprehend. Kasi si Chokes, for sure, he's a mad genius. Baliw-baliw ginagawa ni Chokes. Tank Layla to start. Let's, let's not go from there. But why is Doggy banning more heroes na pwede nilang gamitin? Ayun know YZ already and Khalid. Those are like super duper high priority fighters right now. I don't know. I'm guessing isa lang naman kasi ang kailangan na lang eh. Isa lang ang pwede gamitin ni Chokes dito. Which is the Blank Hero plus Odette. So, I don't know. Sobrang nagtataka ako sa ginagawa ni Dogs. Ang daming options, diba? Ang daming options. We still have Cho available. Mm -hmm. Thumbs is there too. Ang dami pang okay na hero. So I guess what Doggy is trying to do in here is to just limit all the other heroes na pwedeng piliin pa nitong Team Chooks. But yeah, you were taking a look at that one. Selena. And ayun, binanggit natin. Okay, pinag-iisipan pa nila between Guinevere. Ang dami, ang daming choices, di ba? Right? Mm-hmm. Yung Guinevere maganda rin. Parang they're doubling down on the laning limit. Tipong nasa mid lang tayo eh. So andaling magbato ng arrow, andaling magbato ng hook. And now they're thinking... Pwede rin ba tayo magpasok ng sobrang lupit na Violet Requiem? Pero parang hindi mo rin kailangan eh. Kasi meron ka ng King's Calling, meron ka ng Last Insanity. Pero okay din yung Bane. Parang okay, maganda no, rin yung Bane. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Tapusin okay. nyo na through mid. You can push oh. super hard. Pero, hmm, I'm wondering why they heroes... They yeah. I think like, they want more CC in here. Kasi ayan yung isip ko. In terms of damage, what do you think? Where That's what I'm gonna say. Towards to? Parang kulang yung damage dito ni na... Dogs. I was thinking yeah, a hero yeah. like Hanabi would just super duper dominate. Di ba isang lane na nga lang kayo mag-aasama pa kayo eh. So yung uh, yung cleave, di ba? Yung cleave ng range attack ni Hanabi plus uh, Higanbana, I think that would have really uh, pushed it over the limit. But oh well. Imagine stuns connecting to all other heroes, di ba? Oh, yes. But pero, uh, no one went in for a marksman. But uh -oh. yeah, let's leave it. Di? Yun ang gusto nila. 
Oh, feeling ko kasi masyadong madali kapag naghanap eh. Masyadong madali kapag ginamit nila yung mga iniisip natin. So that's why sabi ni Dogs, the ultimate flex, 'di ba? Uy, trash talk 'yun ah. Binan nila yung malalakas na fighter. Binan nila yung Yujong, binan nila yung Khalid. Sabi na kaya namin ito lang. Okay? So for the most part, a lot of these heroes are off the meta, but again, I think we agree. Damage-wise lamang ang team Chokes sa CC naman and I think their engagements para lamang yung boss yung uh, yung yung lineup ni Boss Dogs. So with that being said, Isaya, who do you think is going to be taking game one, mid lane mania? I think I'm going to go to where the damage is. Doon ako sa Team Chooks kasi early game time if they get a lot of kills already, probably kaya nila mag snowball from there for as long as nandiyan yung protection. And may meron din namang stun dito si Odette. So pag nag-connect 'yon pati yung kay Johnson go for it Tangent. So I think I'm going to go for Team Chooks. Okay, well Okay, dogs ako. Kasi kahit sabi mong talo yan, at least nag-flex sila. Alright, at least they tried and they became flashy with it. Here we go. It's not to pay on that Franco. And they are looking for angles. I guess pwede ko makakita dito. Masakit pa rin pala yung Johnson. Kasi meron din siyang range, meron siyang poke. Yeah, yeah. He can poke oh. out, you know, uh, players. Pero yan, makikita natin dito. Yung iba nag-jungle. Si Inzai plays. He took advantage of this rule kung saan pwedeng mag-jungle. So why not? Hindi pa naman siya and given that, oh by, by the way, apat pala, tatlo pala. Actually, wait, we have a lot of magic damage pala dito para sa side ng team so Even mm -hmm. worse, uh, the uh, uh, inside place, magic damage yep. ang outfit niya. Magic and physical yan si Karina, yeah, as a, as a, as an assassin. So, uh, parang yung, yung lineup ni Chokes, it, parang kabalik ta siya nung personality ni Chokes. Kabalik ta siya nung stream ni Chokes na may ginagawang kababalaghan. This is super simple, this is super efficient. As in, gusto lang nilang lumaban via the initiation of uh, the Odette or via Kayla's uh, um, feathered airstrike. So parang, huh, simple lang. I think ang, ang strength lang ng team ni Doggy dito is they can choose where to fight. Kasi nga sila yung lamang sa CC. They're the ones who can do the pickoffs. Pero ang tagal, ang hirap. This is such a... Oh! A nice hook! Oh no, the Hawk with I flicker out by LeBron. Here's what's interesting, guys. I know. Inisip lang natin yung interaction of skills. Pero hold up. Okay, I think merong pumuntang side lane. There you go. All right, let's enforce the rules. We are paying El Capitan. Bawal tayo sa side lanes. Okay, so here's oh oh oh. Here's the here's the interesting point, guys. I know. Si Pimo. Lahat sila naghati-hati sa EXP dyan sa mid. Right? So, so, heroes have to die. Para lang mag mag makakita tayo ng mga ult. Kasi tiyo mo, usually 2 two, two, two minutes, right? 2 minutes, 3 minutes. Dapat may level 4 na dyan eh. Dapat yung dalawang core, possibly level 4 na. But right now, karamihan sa kanila level 3, level 2. And it's because naghati-hati sila sa resources. So, I think more heroes need to die. And so far, 1-1 one, one pa lang. Yeah, but level 4 na yata dito yung isa sa members ng team group natin. Pero yung men sila wala ko, sama-sama sila sa meet. Pero teka lang, kung may bakbakan agad tayo dito, doon nagagana. Oh. Ultimate coming up from the Farsa right now. Ang sakit! Sabi ng mga membro dito ng team Doggy natin. Pero wala naman na punish, so goods pa rin naman niya. Pero balikan natin yung ginagawa ni Inzai dito. Iwalay siya ngayon sa mga katin niya. So 4v5 yung nangyayari sa meet. But yun si Leo, ano yung advantage pa? Dito, na nag si Inside Place? Yes, yes. Uh, our, our, our earlier point. Hold up! Nag-drive dito. Sakto landing. Oh, There's yeah, the feather yeah. there. Strike. Getting the stun. Down goes Doggy. May isa pa ba? Hinahabol si Natsupai. And he gets away. Last in sanity dito. Humiigot-igot na si Kuya. Oh, that's, that's, that's Ate. That's at Madame Lu. And there's a trade. One for one. Down goes Inzai. And we have a ball game. Okay, question. Lamang ba doon? Ang team chokes dahil nagja jungle dedicated jungler in the place. I think so. I think yes. 
Kasi nga kung meron sariling source of EXP and uh, gold si Inzai, hindi siya tulad ni Pain na nakikiagaw lang. Oh no! Nice stun! Pero walang bato. Walang bato! Walang bato. Oh! Okay, kala ko. Kala ko magbitin eh. Grabe daw talaga dito. Pero yeah, may maasim lang na place. Nagiging na Inzai place siya. Maasim place. Yung ginawa nitong si Inzai. Kanina na nag-dive sa tier 1 turret just to secure a kill. Pero ayun. Napapakita na rin dito ng kalamangan sa Mihaw. Whenever Team Jukes tries to go for that setup. Ito na naman. Uy! Yun nga lang. Tumama sa wall. Tumama sa wall. Pero tamang pass naman dito yung X4. Gonna get that kill against that Farsa. Pero one member yata. Mamamatay na nga against dito. Na naman sa Team Jukes. So we have these two kills so far. On to the side of ako si Doggy na nadagdag sa kanilang score. Was it two yep. or was it three? A three, because it's five two now. Yeah. So, oh, another hook, and matatag tagan ba? No, flicker out by LeBron. Okay, kay Saya, they're gonna go for the turtle here. Ito yung interesting, no? Ito yung nisip ko. Kung tolo ito, tolo ito, hindi na kaya bumawi ng chokes because ah, ni na chokes because a lot of what they're trying to do start ah goes off of their gimmicks, de ba? Parang ang dam combo, mag combo yung team ni chokes eh. Pero yung team ni Dogs, parang basta may pumasok na isang hook or isang arrow, merong sure na isang patay. ba? Diba? Oh, there it is! See? That's what I'm saying! Pag nadadiving ka lang, you know? Kasi alam nilang malampot. Ang mahirap kasi dito i-implement sa side ng Team Chooks, hindi pwedeng magkamali si Larion. Tulad nung kanina, diba? He attempted to go for a stun uh, while he's driving, pero tumama mm -hmm. siya sa wall. Hindi yeah. na-connect yun, nasayang. And that's... Uh, the moment na tinake advantage ng Team Doggy na sagupain itong Team Chooks natin. Mm -hmm. Kaya, wala na. Okay. Yeah, no? Pero ito na nga, nagtago na. <laughs> Malambot. Pero si Doggy dito, ayun, uh, na file well. Falling down. With the camera of them, they're all dead right now. Pero they're, they're too squishy to handle all the damage coming up from the members of Team Doggy right now. Hey. So, Doggy okay. dito, si Lena. And I think the tier 1 turret will fall down anytime soon if they have a minion wave. Uh, they have a few, but that's I guess it. this will be enough. This will be enough to take down this tier 1 turret. Okay, so that's what I was saying, no? Parang ang kailangan lang gawin ni Dogs, play well, play properly. Pero itong team ni Chokes, kailangan nilang magawa yung combo. And Kayla, Kayla barely getting away. Na una pa ang bumagsak dito si Madam Lu. And what's interesting is, wala pa yatang glowing wand. Si Lou. So I guess if she did, Kayla would have gone down. And there you go again. I think Larion could do a little better with his Johnson driving. Pero okay na lang din. It's not over. First tier turn. Pala. Oh, there's a knock up. There's the violent requiem. Tinulak pa loob. Kahit na magpwede ng airstrike. A fucking scalling dropped in here by Eruption. That's a double for the big guy. Isa pa. Nagahanap. Doggy managing his health bar. Oh, pumasok dito si Inzai. Takes down Doggy. Eruption trying to stop him. And Inzai can only go so much. But hold up. Pumasok si Lu. Wants to put in some more. Throw with the stakes and the flames and okay, save. Pero wala kang immortality. You might die. Lebron might take you down. Takbo! Down. Ito na nga. Ito na nga. Ito na nga. Pero again, the advantage or the winning condition for the side of Team Doggy ay yung CC nila. Lahat sila dito may pag-CC. At least for Team Chooks naman, ang asahan lang talaga nila mainly is yung combo ng Odette and Johnson na hindi pwedeng magkamali. Many times we've seen that play. Parang siyang best pa lang natin nakita na gumana during the early game time. So far, ladies and gentlemen, kung nakakalimutan natin, meron tayong ongoing poll, no? I-comment nyo na lang kung sino ang mananalo at kung sino ang MVP. And so far, meron na tayong choices. Lamang si Team Doggy dito. Pero kung naghahanap tayo ng MVP, medyo iba rin yata. Kasi si Inzai plays, he's going for the play. He's going for the run here. And he gets knocked up by Doggy. Violet Requiem sa isa. Makakataas pa. Nakakataas naman. Buti pinalaya. Piling ko nagpinagbibigyan din itong Doggy ngayon eh. Pero, ayun na nga, tignan natin ano, ah, here to turret in my next target. Uy, sabot ito si Odette? I don't know, but anyway, we can see in here, far top, and then use the ultimate once more. Pero grabe naman dito, mga miyembro ng Team Doggy. Si Larion will try to connect his son, not to fight, trying to survive. Naku, may ghost boat nga lang buhay ni Larion dito. Why? Nag-set sa inside place dito, pero teka lang. Ron and Larion, TV was ghost ang buhay. At sabi lang banda, 
in Zai place try to back away from pain na inahapon naman siya patuloy uy bawal daw laban diyan bawal flop mate para yon patuloy <laughs> okay andas babalik na oh ayan naalalahanan naalalahanan naman si pain minsan talaga nagiiinit eh di ba kung kung selina ka ba naman na 407 tapos karamihan ng arrows mo tumatama hindi ka manghabol di ba so it, it it's hard it's hard to uh oo oh, to, 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 to control yourself and I guess na intindihan natin no, ngayon yung yung lead na meron ng uh, team ni Doggy. But let's look at Chokes TV's uh, squad here. Late game scaling, okay din ba? Pero wait lang, ha? nahuli dito ni Larion. There's the full combo. Pero mo ang mabawi yan si Doggy. And Chokes gets away with it. Takas mga si Edgar dito. At eto, in dive place daw, sinasunod lahat ng slow at first damage. Uy, naka-survive pa nga yata. Pero I think isang member, uh, si Larion, okay, um, uh, buhay, but yun nga lang, nasa pay pala actually pareho, yung tank ng Chooks TV team natin ay eh, babagsak so, so yun na naman natin dito there's to try their best, double kill going on to KP right now, hindi siya may stun under the tier 1 turret ng team Doggy definitely she will not survive that uh, instance at ayun, medyo minsan meron lang tayo mga plays no, na napapa overextend ata ang team Chooks dito hindi sila nakakasabay, diba? hindi sila think kung anong gusto nilang gawin, sometimes may papakas na maaga, hindi pa Oh, ito, biglang nahuli na si Lebron Nag-ulti, but it's gonna be too much Hindi ka ayaw protectahan Ni Edgar, ni paring Shooks And there's another Violet Requiem By Doggy Isa yung ating interesting, no? Tama eh, I think the the, the lineup On Shooks TV's team Is really built that way Parang kung wala silang, kung hindi dalawa o tatlo Mapatay nila sa isang combo ni Larion And Odette Hindi sila mananalo But they take down Natsupai Take that kuya And here's another one Mababawian There's a nice pull Onto Inzai Wala nang pop of potential There you go Eruption dropping The King's Calling Just to be safe Walang the dash Paloob dito And so far 2 for 1 Ang trade na yun And make it a 3 for 1 Medyo delayed Down goes Larion Very Dito providing vision Si Doggy Nagamit-gamit ang When you fear Habang bato naman Ang bato dito Nang stun As well as Itong Uh, by the way, it looks parang kailangan ni Team Doggy na magdisiplina ng konti. Pero ayun, this is an opening. Larion missed his ult. Larion missed the barrage. The rampage. Nice pull here by Eruption. Nalapagan ang Team's Calling. But it's going to fail to save Larion. Oh, sorry. Fail to save K-Bear. Dahil napag-cover dito si K-Bear ng kanyang failed airstrike. Pero 3 for 1 na nga nangyari. Down goes Eruption. Down goes Natsupai. Pero Lugi. Ano nangyayari kayo na Dogs? What is this? Dito, ang MVP para sa akin si Inzai Doing his best to find the right timing and target Para ma-utilize na yung kanyang passive At ito na nga, under turret Confidently enough, he'll try to take down one member from the side of Team Doggy Kailangan niya na ng backup dito Bakit? Hindi niyo agad pinakapa Napugo talag tuloy nitong Inzai Nagamit-gamit ang Inzai Pero parang silang nakukulang nun sa Feeling ko hindi kasalanan eh Feeling ko hindi kasalanan eh Ni Si Ni Pain Kasi Ay sorry Ni Na mga kampi ni Inzai Kasi kung Isang silina yan Na ready na ready Na G na G Wala ka Wala mapagpigil sa'yo And look at this Lebron Dito Edgar Uy Yung nga lang Wala Wala Yep, ang bola 
nasa kamay ng Team Sige. They need to make sure that uh, kung sila rin ay papasok, mabait lang nila. At kung magkamali sila rin, that's definitely at least a sure kill. Kung di maulit lang kanina, K-Bear will deal a lot of damage. Edgar will deal a lot of damage. Actually, nagkabalik tad. I thought Kayla was the Odette. Pero si Chops pala yun. Now, there you go. A failed attempt. A pull. Another pull. There you go. Eruption goes in. Nagaanap tayo ng kiss calling. There it is. Kisaya. Ay, eto na nga. Nakikita natin tuloy ang bakbakan. Wala pa si Gunigver dito. Hindi pa sumasang. In the meantime, we can see double kill on to the hands of a pain right now. But this is ganun din naman dito. Si Inzyphe is the new fall down. Two members left for the side of Chooks TV. Eruption yung nahabol dito ni Lebron. So, as Kaber, the kill will go on to Kaber. Ang ating mag-partner dito yung nahabol ni Pain. At uh, ni Doggy. Tignan natin. Ay, bawal dyan na! Bawal dyan na! Bawal dyan na! Nagkalimutan na na! Di mga moments na nagkalimutan na yun. Yung tunipag talaga. Ano ba yun? Ano ba yun, Leo? Tipong nasa gilagid sila Nasa borderline sila Tipong yung sa badminton Yung, yung shuttlecock Napunta siya dun sa, sa linya Yun yun eh Yun yung linya right there oh. Sinasabi nila Hindi, jungle pa rin to Jungle pa rin to So yun ang nangyari Pero papasok yung sila rin At saka si Jokes Nabawian si Togi lang Ang makapagligtas Ng dalawa dito Dahil meron pa siyang Ay hindi naka-cooldown Naka-cooldown Pero nabuhay pa si Lou Okay Si Pain lang nawala Susunod na rin si Lou Okay That's it. I think you need to get out of here. Okay, Saya, note ko lang ha, kanina dun sa wipeout na ginawa nila ako si Doggy, delayed yung wipeout na yun, medyo matagal. Pero sa totoo lang, hindi sumali si Doggy sa teamfight. Kumuha siya ng buff. At ngayon, pababag sa akin dito, si Inzai. So tama yung sinabi ni Doggy kay Raph. Tama yung sinabi ni Doggy kay Raph. Hindi ako maglalaro. Kukuha lang ako ng buff. At what? Kita kasi natin dito sa nangyayari sa Team Jokes. Well, we did mention about Synergy already. And uh, it's it's showing because many of the many times, na kita natin si uh, Johnson, si Larion together with Chooks, Odette, kumapasok sila ng kahit hindi pa handa yung teammates nila. Ito tulad dito, magdadrive ulit, I think magkasama sila. Ayan na naman, hindi pa handa. Bintay sila sa teammates nila, but fortunately na please, nakuha nila si Natsu Pai. Nakuha nila natin, the rest of the gamba, ready ba sila? This is a 4v5 situation right now, just in case. Ang tanong, kaya ba ng Chooks TV habang patay? That's one less stack for the side of Akosidogi. Lagot na pag-push pa dito si Nachoks TV. Pero given that, I think I give them the advantage to taking turrets and objectives. Dahil sila yung mero range heroes. Wala range heroes si Nachoki. And yan nagde-defend na si Erap TV. So with that being said, oh that's gonna be another down. Immortality pop here. Tagahan up. Ooh, down goes Larry. Oh, susunod dito dito si Nachoks. That's a three for none. Medyo kalat. Medyo kalat. Meron na tayong mga teamfights na nangyayari sa jungle camp natin right now. Malapit na sana sa bottom lane. Pero, well, wala. Napiga siya ni Karina doon. Ni Inzai Place. But, yeah, look at the pressure being put here by Lebron. Yung part of the map actually bawal din eh. Nag-aasipan na rin tayo mag-labanan dito. Pero hindi pinapakawalan. Tuloy yung bakbakan. 2v1. But in the middle lane, we have another... Pero ito yung, ito yung tunay na laban, ito yung tunay na laban, Lebron, 2v1, Natsupai and Eruption, magsama pa kayo, di nyo ako kaya. And I think, Lebron, I think, yeah, you need to get out of there. It's against the rules. Yan. Yeah, sabi ni Natsupai, maduga daw. Oh, take it easy. Alright, relax. Larian, coming in here, lumabas si Kayla and they take it easy. Back out lang. Pero yun nga, nabutas na. Yun na dog, yun yung ginagawa nila. Kaya saya, binutas nila. So I think this is good kasi may pressure na sa mid. I think that he's gonna. There, yep, there you go. That's the Aether main special. That's the Aether special. Ito na yon. 
Ito na nga si Doggy. At syempre, ang tatapos, ang mga minions pa rin. <laughs> ang mga minions, ang tatapos! Uy, oh. nakaisa pa. Ayun, okay. Okay, this is too much. Dapat tinapos na nila, Dogs. What is this? What is this? Ako tapos na, men! Dapat tapos na! Kung inatain nila yung base, tapos na! Pero mga pinapasarap lang nila, Dogs. Pinapasarap lang nila, Dogs. Nako, Chooks, ito na yung chance nyo! Ito na ang chance. Galing sa... Galing sa... Galing sa... Galing sa... I think he's... He's finding the right target. Ayaw... Ayaw siyempre nang... Ni-invite rate isang mga... Makukunat. Going to wait for the HP bar to drop down. And ito na kuha si Natsupai dito. The waiver will fall down too. There's the gang of the... The members of... Chooks TV trying to back away. The bulo sa baka. Si Doggy. Ito nga ba ang comeback ng Chooks TV. Pero naka-triple kill. Si Pain dito. Ang hirap ha... Ang hirap habulin ni Pain. Si Pain at Lou, tinatag team nila itong dalawang natira. Pinzai and Lebron. Hindi man lang naging Lebron and Kayla. Pinzai and Lebron. Kanina nakatawa, no? Hindi ko alam kung talaga piniling gawin ni Natsu pa yun. Pero ang dami niya pwedeng targetin ng hook. Pero yung kapatid niya pa talaga. Yung tank eh. Sabi la, si Larry yun yung tinira niya. Nung kanyang hook. But then again, that's okay. Makes for a better story. And Lebron here, finally gonna go down. Uy! Ang laki na! There you go. Okay. Grabe talaga yung get big passive dito ni Barats. And we're gonna get him here. Okay. Real. Yep. Real effort there. Para lang pabagsakin ng isa. Oh. Bawal push diff lang. But anyways, nandito na tayo eh. Yan na. Boom! I think this is gonna be it. Ah, Larion. Wala siya kasama dito. But he will go for the stun. We can see Lou on their turret right now. Mamamat. No. Aboy ko siya. Pero I think, ah... Grabe! Yung damage ni Pain! Ako may MVP na ako guys. Sino ba kinakomment yung MVP? Kasi mayroong isang tamang sagot eh. Pag tinignan natin yung stats, may isang tamang sagot, okay? Mayroon din isang tamang sagot para kung sinong panalo talaga dito sa round 1. Mid lane mania. And I believe it's just a matter of time. The minions are working it. And congratulations to Team Doggy for taking game number 1. Kanina dapat pa yan eh. Mga 2 minutes, mga hindi. 5 minutes ago dapat eh.